Welcome to today's Thought for the Day. Today is, of course, April Fool's Day. Now, it's not clear when or how the annual custom of playing practical jokes on the 1st of April began, but some historians believe that it dates back to the year 1582, when France switched from the Julian to the Gregorian calendar. Unfortunately, it seems that some people failed to get the memo, and therefore they continue to celebrate the start of the new year from the end of March to the beginning of April, rather than the 1st of January as it had become. Thus, those who partied on the 1st of April rather than the 1st of January became the butt of jokes, japes and pr pranks, including having paper fish pinned to their backs and being called Poisson d'Avril, April fish, i.e. someone who's gullible, easily hooked. The April Fool's true folly, therefore, is being out of step with everyone else, inhabiting a different reality, setting your clocks to another time zone. It is no merely incidental detail that all four Gospels tell us that Jesus was raised to life on the first day of the week. They're trying to say that his resurrection has the effect of ushering in the new creation. And therefore it is that the church meets not on the seventh day, Saturday, as God's people had previously, but on the first day, Sunday. For it is in Christ's defeat of death that we find our true life and our true rest. The saving work of God in the life, death and resurrection of Jesus is so significant that time itself has been framed around this new reality. Christ is risen from the dead and reigns at the right hand of God. Yes, even today, even in the midst of all the mess of the coronavirus pandemic, Christ is on the throne. The question is, will we live in step with this reality? Will we set the clocks of our lives by this reality? Will we be April fish who swim against the tide of fear that surrounds us? Let us, like the Apostle Paul, glory in being fools for Christ.